Hi, I'm Greg Jones with 1623 Customer Harmonicas. The purpose of today's video is to demonstrate routine maintenance and disassembly of your Seidel Chromatic Harmonica. Whether you're a novice player, just learning, or whether you're a skilled pro, routine maintenance and occasional disassembly of your chromatic is necessary. There are a lot of moving parts in there and things every once in a while just won't line up perfectly. That's why you need to be comfortable disassembling your harp. Many times we'll have environmental factors which will affect the way the chromatic will play. Other times it's just normal wear and tear. Now, when you start to disassemble your side out chromatic harmonica, you should know these screws, although they look like standard Phillip head screws, they're actually referred to as posi. Posi screws are a European design and they're used uh, quite often in musical instruments and in furniture. Although a standard Phillips head screwdriver will work, eventually these screws will strip out if you do it too often. So if you're in a bind, go ahead and grab a, a uh, wide bladed Phillips screwdriver and it'll fit in there, it'll work just fine. But you should consider purchase of a posi drive screwdriver Although it looks like a Phillips head, it's slightly different. It has some little wings on there. These are two models. This model here is available at the Seidel Toolkit, and I also sell them. And this is a large handle model for those who are going to be uh, taking their harps apart more often. And I sell this one as well. So with that, let's begin. Before you begin disassembly of your Seidel chromatic, I suggest that you have a paper towel or some kind of towel on the work surface. As the screws and parts fall out, they'll have a tendency to fly off, and so this will uh, help prevent that. So let's start. I like to put my finger behind uh, the back of the screw that I'm, that's not being uh, turned, and take out the top like that. set our cover screws off to the side. Now at this point we want to carefully remove the covers. We want to pull straight off so that we don't put a wind saver or a reed in the process. So here you'll see the side L Deluxe. This one is brand new with the covers removed. Now These are referred to as wind savers, and they are two ply pieces of um, vinyl and other material, and their purpose is to block off air, or to keep air from escaping out the non-sounding reed. So in this case, the exposed wind savers are covering up the top plate blow reeds, which are the reeds that sound when the slide is out. The reeds facing me, those are the draw reeds, and they sound on the draw notes with the slide out. We have the same on bottom, and these reeds play with the slide in. Now, I have what we call a needle brooch, and I use this uh, to work around reeds and wind savers, a toothpick will work. Uh, a small flat bladed screwdriver. You just want to have something with a pointy end on it. A needle would work real well. And then what I'll do, you want to make sure that these wind savers all sit flat. Now these are all in perfect shape. Both plies are laying flat up against the reed plate and you can't see the slot uh, so that means they're fully covering the slot. So when you inspect your chromatic, you want to look for that. If you have a wind saver that's creased up, you want to try and lay that thing down. Um, if not, uh, most likely the wind saver's bad and needs to be replaced. 
Now, occasionally you'll have a blow read that won't sound. And uh, for various reasons, uh, a few little tests you can do. But one thing I like to do is just take my needle and just lift that wind saver up. Sometimes moisture from our breath will cause a suction effect and that wind saver will stick to the plate. So that's certainly one option if you have a blow note that doesn't sound. If that doesn't correct the problem, then secondarily you gently lift up the uh, gently lift up that wind saver. You push down on that reed. Chances are the reed has settled into the slot. And this is not uh, too different from how you would adjust the reed on a diatonic. It's just that you have to deal with this wind saver. If you have a draw note that won't sound, sometimes it's uh, for the same reason. It's that you have a, uh, a reed that's sunk down into the slot. And all we need to do is stick a credit card or a guitar pick or a needle uh, up under there and gently lift up put some tension on it, and then plink it, and then repeat that. Now if that doesn't fix the problem, it is possible that you have an internal wind saver that has uh, become lodged in that slot there. Sometimes you can reach in there with a needle and kind of readjust that thing or get it to pop out. Other times you can go in from the front, uh, but most likely if that happens, uh, the chromatic will have to be disassembled and uh, that wind saver tended to. Now, if we feel like our gap is too high, in other words, we feel like the gap on the draw reed it sits up too far, we can just reverse the process and mash that reed down in to the slot like that. Conversely, if we have a blow uh, read and we feel like the gap is too uh, high, we can stick our needle through the front, find that read, and just pry it up gently like that. This is just a basic inspection and routine maintenance of your chromatic. In this video we won't cover uh, more extensive disassembly, um, but if uh, you were to do that, you have set screws here that keep the plate on and then you have the more permanent screws here and all those would need to come out. Anyhow, let's reassemble our deluxe. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. The screws that we use here are called binding screws, and they're also referred to as sex screws. And sometimes they can be a little stubborn. I find that it's best to put the female side in, hold it, and then from here, we'll turn counterclockwise till we hear a little bit of a click. And then get it snug. Then when we do the other side, we want to make sure that our plate, our covers, excuse me, sit in the groove of this plate. So when they're in there, you'll notice that the, uh, the covers fit snug. And that'll ensure that we have a good, nice, tight seal and then everything stays where it should. And then from there, we'll put the other screws in. Once again, set it in there, and we'll as you see, I'm starting to have a little bit of a problem. This is kind of what we deal with when we take our chromatic apart. You should get comfortable with disassembly of your sidewall chromatic. It's necessary. There's simply going to be too many little minor problems that creep in there. But once you learn to do it, once you know what you're looking for, you can keep that uh, harp on stage and off of the workbench. Thank you very much for tuning in. 
I'm Greg Jones with 1623 Custom Harmonicas.